Mancini, two homers, two minutes. You think the air's having something to do with this? Absolutely. It's 88 degrees as soon as this contest started. And just with the excitement, the adrenaline comes in. I'm interested to see what happens when there's a minute left in his at-bat. He goes the other way, and that's a big fly to right field. And uh, after that timeout, Mancini's starting to tack on some home runs. There you go. That one's hammered. Buster, the home run paid off. He's got his bonus. He's hit one 475 and still 90 seconds left. And he's got his man on the mound throwing to him, the former pitching coach from Notre Dame, who told me that when Mancini called him, he was in the airport in Atlanta on a recruiting trip. And, of course, he initially worried that this might be a call related to Mancini's cancer. But no, Mancini asked him if he would pitch to him. Ristano's been practicing. He is the first time Charlie's thrown to him since 2013. Well, he's found the happy zone. Mancini is locked in right now. The number to 10. Make it 11 as he goes dead central. Okay, now we're getting to that uh, to that stage. One minute left. Are the legs going to be there? He's rolling right now. Now here's a high fly to left, and that one is gone. The next one in the air, but it's a line out. 14 home runs for Mancini. Make it 15 and watch out scoreboard. He's rolling right now, 37 seconds left. But you're seeing him now waver a little bit with the balance. See him fall off a little bit backwards. He's fatigued, no doubt about it. Center field incoming from Mancini. <laughs> Into the trees. Yeah, you can see balance is a little off. His manager, Brandon Hyde, gave him Sunday off from a start. Then he called him in late. What does he do? Pinch hit two run home run. Said through text, if you need me, I'm good. He's real good right now, and the ball is flying at cores. Last one, that's the buzzer. Hi, Bob. Ah. <laughs> Cedric Mullen standing to our left saying, count that one, too. Count that one, too. <laughs> and they will. Look out, Matt Olson. That's 18. 19 they give him the start for Trey Mancini. What a – boy, was that timeout well-timed? It was a great timeout that he had early on. 2.07 left on the clock. Balanced right here. Gets the bat head out. That's the trick here. You have to hit it out in front. It's that leg kick. Gets the loft under it. And when he got on a roll, he continued to stay out there. Mancini doing a great job. And you're talking about a recruiting trip. He was in Atlanta. This right here is a heck of a recruiting trip. If I'm a hitter, I want that man throwing batting practice to me while I'm in college. There's Matt Olson. So he's bought himself an extra minute. So Mancini with an awfully impressive performance. And he'll get back in there. Some background on Trey. He grew up in Lakeland, Florida, a neighbor of Matty Diaz, who, of course, is a major league player. He played tennis and baseball when he grew up, went to Notre Dame, killed it his freshman year. Junior year, he had 389, slugged 600. Orioles took him in the eighth round. His dad, uh, Tony's a doctor. When Trey signed up to play baseball as a little boy, dad's figured, well, he's going to be a scientist or a doctor like me. Little did he know he'd become a terrific major league player. And Trey also doesn't like the sight of blood. So he said, early on, I ain't going to be a doctor. That, that field's not for me. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. But what a start here. 19 home runs and a bonus time of a minute. His nickname at Notre Dame when he was with Ristano was Boom Boom. And it became Boomer. And right out of the gate, he lofts one to left field. And Wardo calls it gone, and he's right. He is doing a wonderful job of catching everything out in front. That one might not leave the ball, a ballpark, but he needs to continue to throw the pitches down and in right now, and Trey's absolutely just crushing them. Give the fans in right field something to play with as well. 30 seconds to go. Ooh. And that is hammered. What a first round for Trey Mancini. So if you're ever walking through the supermarket aisle and you look and you see the Mancini peppers, 
his great grandfather started the Mancini Pepper Company. Well, that's exactly what he's doing right now. He's peppering some baseballs into. You read my mind. That's exactly where I was going. Take a break, Trey. Boy, Matt Olson, the bar is raised. What a start to this 2021 <laughs> T-Mobile Home Run Derby. A cancer survivor and 23 out of the gate. You've got his teammate over there, Vlad Guerrero, of course, who put on quite a show in 2019, losing in the final to Alonzo. And a lot of great respect for what he did. How about Trey Mancini right now coming up? And we looked at the first round, he hits 24 home runs. And right now, all he needs is just to get one more than half of that. And we've seen the power using the entire field in, in this first round. So we start here. He does have the ability to get that bonus by hitting one 475 feet. There's another great story about Chuck Rostano on the mound and Trey Mancini. There's a guy named Ricky Palmer who was a year older and a walk on with a tremendous sense of humor at Notre Dame, close-knit family. Rostano would say the Palmers, they were the Mancini's north. Palmer was diagnosed with a brain tumor in February of 2020, a month after Mancini arrived at spring training, and he was feeling sluggish. He was diagnosed with colon cancer. Palmer did not survive. This is the first time that Rostano and Mancini have seen each other since that funeral. And through the entire chemo process, and while suffering, Palmer would call Mancini and stay focused on his health. There's a Ricky Palmer Memorial Fund that both of these guys are behind, and if he were alive, he would be screaming at the top of his lungs for Trey Mancini to match Trevor's story tonight. Six homers, still no bonus ball. That one's hit far, but not, maybe that's close. That's close to Trey Mancini last time. There was 2.07 left on the clock when he asked for time. This time he's managing the time a little bit better, but he's asking for time here. With seven, he's in a really good spot to be able to catch up Trevor. He's in a great spot. He's got a buck 39 plus the 30, and then we'll see if he's able to add the 30 with a 475-foot shot. We are at a ballpark full of 50,000 people. We had none of this last year. No, we had zero of this last year, but look, the approach that Trey Mancini is taking here is his own game approach. 60% of his home runs have been hit straight away center field this year. He understands that he has pop either way. He has just not come out of that timeout very well at all, only adding one. Trevor Story's posted 12. Still a lot of time. A lot of pop-ups too right now. And a lot of line drives. Got to get into that pull territory, and that's a better one. And again, no balls yet hit over 475 in this round to get that extra 30. Why does it feel right now that everybody except Pete Alonso is <laughs> feeling it? I think because they saw him feel it. This is Pete's. This is Pete's show. This isn't a Team Marin de los Pingües moment. This is. Those two guys are going to go at it in a major way next round. I think Soto's trying to get him off his game. Get inside the head of the polar bear. Here's the tying one for Mancini. The next one will move him on, and that's a shot to center, and that is going to do it. Trey Mancini knocks out Trevor Story, and that will do it for the hometown hero, Trevor Story. And what a story we have developing with Trey Mancini. The approach of these two, completely different. The way Trevor got to two, uh, 12 home runs compared to Mancini's 13. Through the entire zone right there, not trying to pull, staying straight away, true to who he is. Foot goes down, elbow up, tight, seeing it through.
Enjoy it. The 1998 Home Run Derby champion, Ken Griffey Jr., who we spoke with earlier, brings out the Home Run Derby trophy. Big time ovation for Junior as we take a look at tonight's road to the finals and it's brought to you by Geico on a glorious night here in the mile high city of Denver Colorado. A 35 spot in the first round 16 in round two to knock out Juan Soto Trey Mancini took care of Matt Olson in the first round and then he beat Trevor Story. 37 total home runs for Trey Mancini in two rounds. 51 for Pete Alonso. Marley. I'm going to start with Cedric and move on to you. So, Cedric, tell me all about your teammate and Trey Mancini, what he's done here today. It's awesome. I love seeing him out here. I'm, I'm enjoying myself, supporting him. You know, just everything that he's been through, it's great to see him out on the field again having fun. And congratulations, Cedric, first time All Star. And I'm going to go to the five time All Star, former teammate of Trey Mancini, too, Manny Machado. Talk to me a little bit about Trey and what you think his chances are in this round against Pete Alonso. I think they're great. He's overcome a lot. He's overcome more than most of us. And uh, this is just testing for him. So I'm rooting for him. And, uh, you know, hopefully he comes up on top. Well, there you go. From Cedric Mullins and from Manny Machado, Trey Mancini. That's the right attitude to have. Again, two minutes on the clock to start it. And Trey Mancini's off to a very good start. He really is, and he knows he has to get started in a hurry. I love it. I love the fact that they've upped the pace, not waiting for anything. Come on, throw the next one. Get the cadence going. Only two-minute round this time. A little bit different. He asked for timeout right now. 117 left on the clock. All right, so he's sitting there, and uh, the head keeps bouncing like a bobblehead. Pete Alonso tonight. We'll take a timeout. Trey's got five. If we don't have live music, everybody will be lost. If you want me to stay, I'll be around today to be available for you. Bars, clubs, and stages need our help. Let's make sure they stay. We're in the middle of the NBA Finals game for Wednesday, 9 Eastern. Giannis and the Bucks try to even it up at two against Paul Booker and the Suns. The Suns trying to take a commanding 3-1 lead. Big game the other night for the Bucks. Coverage tips, NBA countdown 8:30, also streaming live on the ESPN app. Well, because the round's two minutes and Alonzo's been so good, you don't know what the number is that Mancini's got to post, but he's the guy that's going to post, and he's going straight away dead central with the first one out of the break. Second one goes center. Next one goes left field. Here comes Trey Mancini now. I like it. Again, straight away center with easy pop. Yes, sir. Ooh, that one's got a lot of right under it already in the bonus. Yes, sir. Trey Mancini, 490, we've earned that bonus. Like the take also. Well, every swing is being driven out. And Mancini's putting a number here up. Get up. Just missed. And next one, another line drive. That's going to go. Well, he got on that round, on that roll where he hit six in a row. Needs to get on that roll again. So far, three in the consecutive home runs for him. Well, the appreciation and respect that all the players who are still here have for what he's done. Cedric Mullins, his number one cheerleader, standing next to Manny Machado, rooting him on. That is a big shot. Boy, as tired as he was in round two, we don't see that here in the finals. It's all about cadence, and he got Woo! it that time. Well, he's got the number that <laughs> they all had after three minutes in the first round. He's at 17. He can't help but to cheer for Trey Mancini. Loved what his teammates said about him. Again, he's in the moment. Oh, man. Even after the second round. 
At 8, T-Mobile's 5G POV cam bringing fans up close to the biggest home run derby swings like we've never seen before. All streaming wirelessly in high definition over T-Mobile's 5G network. That was impressive. Remember, Alonzo had to come from behind to beat Vlad Guerrero Jr. in 2019. It ain't going to be easy, Eddie. No, it's not. Two guys that have the power and for such a thin frame, two completely different body types. What do you got, time yeah. Strong, wiry Mancini. Go. With one minute left, 17 on the mark. That's exactly where a lot of the hitters were after the three minute mark. Again, if you're just joining us, he overcame stage three colon cancer. He told us a few minutes ago that there were times he didn't know if he'd ever play baseball again, let alone survive. And now he is posting a big time number here in the 2021 T-Mobile Home Run Derby. The inspiration for so many after he was toast in round two, he went out and signed a bunch of autographs. His goal coming in was to let people know there is life after a cancer diagnosis. So far, he's swung at 32 pitches, 66% of the time he's gone deep. That's the kind of percentage that Peter Alonso was in in the last round. So he's on pace with Alonso. The most home runs in a final round is 23, and it was Alonso, and that one is driven to center, won't get out, get underneath that one too. That's not a good pitch. Uh, that's a good one. Opposite field. Will it be enough to get out? No. Oh. Line shot and this that'll counts. do it. No. Now he's bouncing and he always, <laughs> always wondering if you just had one more. Great job by Trey Mancini as he puts 22 up on the board. Pretty much has that David versus Goliath trio. Sure does. <laughs> but that was awesome. Awesome. A few nights ago, his doctor, Nilo Azad, threw out the first pitch at the Orioles game. That was his oncologist. And tonight, he's made many, many more fans.